Hi, this is Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, here with part two of um, a video on the Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather fight. In part one, I uh, advise viewers that I believe the winner of this fight will be Floyd Mayweather. I also discuss some weaknesses I see in Manny Pacquiao, some relevant Pacquiao fights, as well as some weaknesses that I see in Floyd Mayweather. Now let me point out, there is a way for Manny Pacquiao to win this fight. I believe it's slim, but I do believe Manny Pacquiao does have a chance to win this fight. And in my opinion, it comes down to the first 12 minutes of the match. Manny Pacquiao has 12 minutes, the first four rounds, to hurt, batter, establish himself as the better fighter in the fight over Floyd Mayweather. If Manny Pacquiao at the end of the fourth round is not ahead in this fight by at least two rounds, in other words, if Manny Pacquiao doesn't either drop Floyd Mayweather, get a 10-7 round like he did on Manuel Marquez or 10-8 round and look good in the other two rounds. If Manny Pacquiao doesn't come out and win three of the first four rounds using superior hand speed and angles to batter Floyd Mayweather, if he's not able to have the kind of start to a fight that he had against both Juan Manuel Marquez and Oscar De La Hoya, then I believe this fight is over. In other words, if these fighters split the first four rounds, if the first four rounds are uneventful, if it consists of Manny Pacquiao uh, starting slow like he did the first round against Miguel Cotto, I do not see how Manny Pacquiao can win this fight. However, if Pacquiao comes out and immediately goes for the knockout, swarms Floyd, overwhelms Floyd's counterpunching ability with volume, punching, and accuracy, and literally outthrows and outlands Floyd in a sustained manner, uh, staggers Floyd over the first few rounds of this fight, then Pacquiao has a chance. Now there is a way to beat Floyd Mayweather and that way is on film. And I would encourage everyone watching this video today to Google the first three rounds or YouTube the first three rounds of Floyd Mayweather's match against Zab Judah. Judah is one of boxing's more fascinating people. Like Manny Pacquiao, he is a southpaw. Like Manny Pacquiao, he's one of the few fighters in boxing who, in my opinion, has better hand speed than Floyd Mayweather. Now, watch the beginning of that fight. Zab Judah actually is able to score a knockdown on Floyd Mayweather that the referee did not give him credit for. I believe it's in the second round of that fight. Mayweather is unable to handle Zab Judah's hand speed. He's confused. He can't figure out the angles. He's a counterpuncher who hasn't figured out the rhythm of the fight. Counterpunchers start slow. They're vulnerable early against volume punchers. Just look at the film of the Paul Williams versus Winky Wright fight. Let's get back to this um, Zab Judah Floyd Mayweather fight. Judah actually hits Mayweather, who is so unprepared for the punch that Mayweather staggers across the ring, right, trying to look cool, and puts his glove on the canvas to avoid being knocked down. Now, while Mayweather always has a smirk on his face, looks cocky, has a lot of bravado. The bottom line is this. Mayweather was getting his ass kicked in that round. And um, all I can say is 
what Manny Pacquiao has to realize is that Mayweather being a counterpuncher, and I know Freddie Roach's trainer realizes this, Mayweather being really a pure counterpuncher is vulnerable when he doesn't know where the punches are coming from. Not only that, much like Paul Williams, a volume puncher, is able to use length, use body length, to stay outside of a counterpuncher's range. Manny Pacquiao is blessed with some of boxing's best legs. Manny Pacquiao should be able to leap inside early, do damage, then jump back outside to avoid Floyd's counter punches. So there is an outside shot that Manny Pacquiao has to win the fight. Again, I believe it's an outside shot. I'm taking Floyd Mayweather in the fight because what I think is going to happen is just like in the Zad Judah fight, just like in the Ricky Hatton fight, I believe Floyd is going to be a little behind the eight ball early, figuring out the angles. But because Manny Pacquiao, unlike Judah, cannot set up shop inside. Manny Pacquiao is not an inside fighter. And because Manny Pacquiao cannot you know, fight backing up. In other words, Floyd will know as Manny Pacquiao backs away from a combination that there will be no punches coming back. He'll know that he has a little window to shoot a straight right hand. I believe what's going to happen is just like in the Zab Judah fight, Although Floyd is going to be a little outgunned early, and I mean very early, first, second round, I believe Floyd is going to make the adjustments that he always makes. And just like in the Oscar De La Hoya fight, where he slowly pulled away from De La Hoya, and again, forget the official scoring. I know the judges had that a split decision. I saw a fighter pulling away from another fighter. Just like Floyd pulled away from Zab Judah. And look at the latter part of that fight. Floyd's actually stalking Judah. He goes from being defensive to being offensive once he figures out that Zab Judah um, is coming straight down the middle with his shots and that Judah isn't going to be using a lot of foot speed in the match. Once Floyd figures out Manny Pacquiao, and I don't believe it's going to be that hard, I think Floyd is going to methodically beat Manny Pacquiao after the fourth round of this fight. So um, I'm expecting Floyd to actually become the aggressor later in the fight. I would not be surprised if Floyd Mayweather tries to put an exclamation point at the end of the sentence uh, by um, stepping up his game and actually trying to stop Manny Pacquiao late in this fight. It's going to be a powerful optical illusion. Floyd fights a bit more uh, upright than Manny Pacquiao. Um, I believe once Manny Pacquiao understands early on in this fight that his left hand is being blocked, and once both fighters understand that Manny Pacquiao does not have enough of a right hand to stop Floyd, I believe that's going to enable Floyd to step forward and to actually start to do major damage. In fact, dare I say it, let me be a heretic. Uh, I actually believe that Floyd's fight against Zab Judah was a more difficult fight than this fight is going to be for Floyd Mayweather. However, that said, there is a distinct possibility that Manny Pacquiao might be able to blitzkrieg Floyd early, early in the fight because counterpunchers are vulnerable very early. My recommendation to you is to take Floyd Mayweather to win this fight. If you're a high-risk roller, I would take Manny Pacquiao on a straddle after taking Floyd to win the fight. I would take Manny Pacquiao to win the fight by knockout, believe it or not, in the first three rounds, three, four rounds of this fight. Let me know what you think. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com, and don't be bashful. Leave your comments for us here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.